Hey guys, um, I just wanted to come on and film a short video. Just kind of, you know, I know it's been like, um, way too long since I recorded one. It's just been kind of crazy with spring and all and just not really been able to get into the, uh, really remembering to turn the camera on and record because I've been busy doing like a massive amount of scrap busting and which did result in a ton of scrappies that I can use in journals, but it just wasn't really something I thought would be very interesting. And that took me several days. And then before that, I was fighting with figuring out how to use my Cricut. Oh, my lands. I thought I was going to go insane. I'm usually pretty quick at picking things up, except a sewing machine. Let's don't talk about that, though. Because <laughs> me and that sewing machine, mm -hmm, we have a real love-hate relationship. It does not play well with me. So, um... But I did figure out my Cricut, and it turns out it had a bad housing and blade in it when I got it. And so after talking to this real sweet little um, girl on their customer support, she knew right what it was when I started telling her. I was like, man, it is shredding every piece of paper I put in it. on one. It'll shred in one part of the cut, and it'll just like barely squirt in another. And I was like... I'm getting real frustrated here. <laughs> I was like, I've tried every trick in the book. I've tried like increasing my pressure, decreasing my pressure, running 15 cuts of the same thing. No joke. I ran one, one night. I ran the same. It was actually these. These little guys. I ran them through there. I kid you not. Five times to get this little outer this little backing piece and you can see it literally just obliterated parts of it because it wouldn't cut it through i had to literally punch it out and tear it out it was scoring the front side but it wasn't cutting through to the back in some spots then other spots it would be perfect like um these most of them came out there was like half of the sheet that didn't but um then the little inner circles even those i had to punch out pretty pretty hard to get him to come out and it was just it was I was about ready to just send it back or throw it out in the road or something because I was getting really upset but um they sent me the new blade and it took me about a week after that to get to where I could size things good in design space and um figure things out really well but I thought these turned out really cute in spite of having to punch most of the most of it out I even had to take an exacto and cut a couple of them which are not here because they look really bad. So I'll use them in my stuff. Not for anything that I sell. Um, but I thought they turned out really cute. I just used some of my favorite like um, Bible verses. But like scaled down like I, what I used to teach the toddlers at the big church. Um, you know just like faith, hope, and charity. Pray without ceasing. Exceeding abundant grace. Just phrases that meant a lot to me. And that were easy to fit on there. And I, I really like how they turned out. Um, I think they turned out really, really cute. So I can't wait to make some more of those now that my Cricut cuts well. These were my first projects when I got the Cricut fixed. They're literally just circles made out of scraps. But, um, and cut in half and glued on. I cut half the circles in half and glued them on. And it'll just be little, like, I'll clip them onto pages or something. I punched the holes just to be doing it. And then I made these little envelopes, which I'm going to decorate later. I may or may not film that. Um, decorating them. I'm still not 100% sure how I'm going to do it. But I thought they turned out really cute, too. I made some larger ones. Um, I made some really big, like, the size of one half of this. Like, you know, six by nine or something. Um, but I didn't make as many of those right off I don't really like to make bigger things like bigger journals so I wasn't really sure I'd use them I will mail happy mail in them and swap mail but um I probably won't make as many of those unless I can find some really cheap paper to do it with because it eats up a lot of paper to cut these things out but I can get a bunch of these like four on a sheet of 12 by 12 and they are so cute aren't they I love that pattern too I absolutely hated that pattern when it was just scrapbook paper. I was like, man, that is so weird. What am I going to do with that? And made it into this. And I'm like, oh, I love it. Can't wait to work with it. So that's those. I made somehow this little um, camera paper too, which again was one that I was like looking at it in the book. And I'm like, 
Uh, I'll never use that. And then I did this, and I'm like, oh, stink, it's so cute. Um, yeah. And then I did my scrap busting, which resulted in copious amounts of piles of scraps. I have just these that I'll use for, like, belly bands or page trims. Um, it's literally the offcuts from the tops of um, my scrapbook paper. And this is just, like, where I think I actually I was making these kind of little boxes and I was cutting the edges off of the paper to do it so I get these big long strips that again that's glued all the way down so I'll make that into a belly band if I need to at some point or I can even you know it's wide enough I could just cut it and make pockets whatever I need tuck spots so I got a bunch of those I really liked that one. I just thought it turned out kind of neat with those little washi people. I'm trying to use up some of my washi. I have like a huge box full of it and I don't even actually use washi that much. I still need to cover those. I've got little like punched out circles that I glue on those, which just gives interest. But I usually wait until I'm doing a journal to um, coordinate that with where I could use words there or whatever. I coordinate covering those with whatever's in the journal. Um, I made bunches of my Franken paper. Uh, every bit of this was scraps except for those envelopes. Those actually were whole pieces of paper. But, um, and the uh, little cricket things weren't scrap. Well, they were scraps because it was paper that I wasn't going to use for anything else. But um, this is literally scraps that I glue together. And sometimes, you know, I just need something a little. A little funky to put in a piece of, in a journal or um, if I'm doing, you know, just it's fun to put in there. And it's got a lot of interest and it works good, especially for like odd size journals where it's hard to come up with paper. I did a bunch of those actually. There's this long one. Um, and then that, I, I don't like this one. I went way crazy with the washi tape and it's actually just held together with washi tape. So, I wasn't real crazy about that. But, um, here's one done with scraps of book page. Which, yeah. I'll probably use some washi. Like, I usually use, like, when I'm using it in something, I'll use coordinating stuff to hold down, like, the flappies. and To kind of tie it in, because I don't like it to just be totally crazy. And then this was done with, um, again, offcuts. This will be used to, like, cut, like, long ways like this to make strips for belly bands and stuff and again I'll cover those with um, something that coordinates I've used this actually like in a journal like this too though and it does look pretty cool I mean I don't know I just like to use some different stuff sometimes you know sometimes it's like they all look the same and you know I like to be creative it's part of it I made a bunch of these again with those tops of scrapbook papers and, like, this one actually came from um, a little, like, cigarette card that I had used part of. I'd already punched out the image on it, the main image. But it had this little flower, and it's um, many happy, I don't know, returns, maybe. My eyesight isn't that good. But um, I thought, you know, it's really cute. And I just punched these, cut them into squares, rectangles, I mean. Some of them are square like that one. And punch holes in them and then I can dangle these from bulb pins or paper clips and just like you can see just layering a couple of them together it is really cute and you get you know I mean, come on it was a scrap I was it was literally gonna be thrown away and now it's something cute and useful and it's so pretty and how much more simple could it get I mean it's literally just punching a hole in it and cutting it well, I guess on some of them you do have to think about where you're cutting, but you know, other than that, they're really cute. I made a huge pile of scrappies or cluster bases. Um, you can see I was working with a lot of like inks and stuff lately. Um, because I did this back right when I set this new studio setup up, I did the same thing and built up that many scraps that quick. You can see that's where I made the things. I had some left over. 
scraps. That one's cute. But um, I made this whole box is full of them. I have corners that I saved that then I obviously won't use them just like this, but I will take and usually back book page on it or put something on the front that matches whatever the journal theme or the page theme is. I don't really do those themed ones like some people do like um you know, like a theme theme. Like I have a friend who's doing one that's Alice in Wonderland and I'm just like, how do you do that? Because my brain doesn't function that way. I'm more like just um yeah, I don't know. I just like the eclectic kind of I guess my overall theme is always grace, you know, because that's what I'm really about. So there's a lot of stuff to do with that in mine. In nature, um, flowers, butterflies. Um, I like to use a lot of the like um, glitters, like the pearlescent, opalescent um, glitters, because I've got that thing about opals that, you know, they kind of mean something to me. So... I think I just tend to use those themes rather than like literary themes or whatever. I don't actually read like novel books. <laughs> My books are like all like Bible books. So yeah, I don't think they'd make very good uh, theme journals. And we don't really watch that many movies. I would like to do an Appalachian one though so at some point. An Appalachian theme journal. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, And celebrate kind of what living in Appalachia means to me. But yeah, not yet. So I made these. Um, you can see this was a seed catalog, but I like to make little envelopes. And um, I actually came up with this pocket yesterday or tuck. It's it'll be glued down on two sides, so it'll have a tuck in the back, a tuck right here, a tuck right here, and a tuck right here. And it's just kind of different and cute. Um, this one's the same way. One here here and here um, a small envelope out of just a really pretty paper I had to actually gesso that one at some point or um, Matt finished it for some reason I think I was going to do something else and then didn't this one I messed up I did it upside down but it won't matter when I get done with it you won't really see the writing so um, the pocket here 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 and here again and then a couple of bigger envelopes out of um, the cutoffs of atlas pages which I used to make a ginormous roll of scrap paper too this sucker is so thick I mean I got so much paper out of that I was showing it to Morgan yesterday and I was like you would not believe it. and I was like that was all scraps I'd use it every once in a while I'll like um decoupage or um Gesso over some of it and then, you know, do some multimedia stuff on it. But most of the time, I just use it as glue paper. I literally just glue strips together and it makes, you know, basically throwaway paper. It's what it is because it saves me having to buy, like, something to cover my mat if I'm doing glue. Which, yeah, obviously I don't really remember to do that very often as I'm picking at the glue on it. Because it's very gluey right now. And I made... More belly bands or tuck spots. And all of this was from like three um, Amazon shipping things full of scrap papers. I mean, I got so much stuff out of it. And which will really help because I'm doing a um, like an artisan fair in June at a local um, museum. And I'm really excited and really need to have like, quite a bit of stuff built up before I go to uh, put things together for that. Which I'm going to start here in the next week or so. Actually putting journals together, like making different sized folios and things like that. Like I want to have a variety of stuff to offer, not just like one thing. Or, you know, like I don't want just big, thick, like hundred dollar journals. I want to have... A variety of price ranges and I like to work at night like I don't know I like to mass make so I mass make all of my ephemera that I think I'll use and then 
That way I can get a bulk of a journal put together really quickly. And then I just focus on a few special pages. I guess that's why I don't really do like a lot of theme journals. Like my themes are more colors or word themes because I do like, like all of my ephemera has like base, a basic cohesive look. You know, you can see like all of these really kind of blend together as cohesively. And so that makes it easier for me, I guess, when I go to put stuff together. I don't know. My brain doesn't work like most people, so. But I thought some of these came out. I really like that for some reason. Down in the darkness, she cannot see the life. For all her love, she, and it, it cut off, but I just, I loved the way it looked. So I glued it on um, something, some little paper scrap and you know, built that thing out from it. But I think that'll be cute just to like in a smaller journal, tuck it, you know, like glue and stick something behind it. And then you can see these are literally like cast offs from punching and, but it gave it a pretty edge. And so I just kind of ripped to go with that and, um, literally just scraps but when you put them together like that they come out so cute like this is really not me um but it'll be cute as a tuck spot or just like to glue on a page just to give something I like to try to use the paper because it does keep the journals kind of flat because I have a tendency to make chunky monkeys um very chunky ones and Sometimes it gets out of hand and then I get halfway through the journal and I'm like, I don't work like literally front to back putting one together. But, you know, like I get halfway done and I'm like, whoa, this thing is getting way too fat. So I like to have some of these flatter things that I can put in then to kind of still keep. I like to put something on every page. Um, and this helps keep the bulk down. This one especially turned out nice. And it was just strips where I had been decomposing with like um, collage paper and napkins. And I just took and glued them on. But I thought it turned out kind of cute. So anyways, that's what the last like two weeks have been. Is um, straightening things up in the, junk, in the uh, studio. Which I love the new setup so much. I mean, everything is so nice. I can reach everything from my chair. And I can film now without that weird gooseneck thing that like shook. Oh, that camera mount drove me insane. It didn't matter what I did. Like if I was like inking, the shaking from inking would shake. You know, like when I'm like, you know, inking like that, it would shake the camera. And so that's one of the reasons I'm not really used to now have to ink that the rest of the way. Well, I don't really, I haven't really been, you know, filmed a lot because that, and I'm, you know, kind of nervous about it. That's the whole hand moving thing, which I guess I'll go ahead and ink this while I'm doing this so that I don't feel so funny flopping my hands around because I do tend to talk with them. But um, I'm going to start trying to film regular and get a little more comfortable with it. I'll ink a couple of these so that. It's not so awkward. I still need to trim this one a little bit. I don't know. I may leave that for now. Because sometimes in the journal, when I go to use it, it doesn't really matter if it has a straight edge or not. That kind of adds to it. I love these little ones. I like to make smaller journal. You can see I trimmed that one neat. They just look so cute, though. I mean, it's just something so little and... Just being done out scraps, I like that. But, um, yeah, I'll be trying to film more often. I'll try to get on a regular schedule, like, you know, so you guys know when I'm going to put something out. Um, and all that. And, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up now because I've got a couple of bigger things I want to do. And I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to pull them off. So, I don't want to do that on camera. That way, if I screw it totally up and jack it up to a hot mess y'all don't have to watch um so everybody have a good day um you know stay safe out there because you know the world is kind of crazy but yeah. and y'all remember jesus loves you so much he died for you grace and peace